This is going to be a list video on each and every ARPG out there that features necromancy or that can be modded to feature it, from the dawn of time until now. So not just games from 2022, I mean what ARPGs can you acquire in 2022 to scratch that necromancy itch and finally get some decent minions gameplay. Please check the video description for links to my videos on each of these games or mods for a very detailed breakdown. Chronicon is a nice ARPG which offers some necromancy and demonology. You can also become a Lich. The Warlock class has four different schools of magic which offer a variety of direct damage spells, debuffs, and minions. There are seven permanent minions, three zombies, and four devils. It's a fun little game and worth a look. Diablo itself has no necromancy and isn't really moddable, but someone very clever made an open source version of the Diablo engine. It has no Diablo data in it, and must be fed the Diablo data file. This new engine permits the game to run well on modern systems, but more importantly, it gave developers the equivalent to the source code for the entire game. This has led to some nice fan-made versions of Diablo, with their own changes and improvements. My favourite of these is called the Hell 2, and it provides multiple minions classes, one of which is a necromancer who can summon skeleton warriors, skeleton archers, and a bone demon. The other is a demonologist with demon minions, and a beastmaster with animals. Another fan-made Diablo game is called the HD Mod, also known as Belzebub, and it also features a necromancer. This mod makes the game feel a bit more modern, like, um, like Diablo 2, and it also implements all the cut game content. So if you're looking to experience everything that Diablo has to offer, this is a great way to do it. Diablo 2 is famous for its necromancy, almost everyone knows about it. It's probably the game that inspired the rest. If you don't know, in Diablo 2 you can play as a necromancer, who can summon skeleton warriors, skeleton mages, four different types of golem, and revive dead enemies temporarily. It's also worth mentioning the druid which has wolves, vines, a bear, and spirits. When you get sick of the base game, there's some cool mods available too, and these add different kinds of minions. Although Diablo 3 started out with no necromancer, they eventually added one. Unfortunately, it's protected behind two separate paywalls, an expansion pack, and then the necromancy DLC itself. If you like Diablo 3, the necromancer offers is enjoyable and not too bad. Din's Curse and Zombicide Din's Curse is necromancy and it's, it's alright. A newer but very similar game is called Zombicide and it works the same way. Here's a snippet from my old video on Din's Curse. As you can see now I'm doing okay, like it's not too terrible. Grimdorn has a necromancer and it's pretty good. From memory you can have at least 9 different skeletons, a random mix of warriors, archers and mages, and a flesh golem like minion that serves as a tank. Dual classing with shaman lets you get a briarthorn minion as well, or you can have a dual class of a cultist and get a raven and a hellhound. There's also lots of mods available that implement necromancy without the expansion. I relied on these mods before the expansion was released. Path of Exile has spells or abilities that permit necromancy. These are mostly zombies and skeletons, but I haven't played in years. There's a bazillion different videos in this game that go into far more detail than I can here. In any case, here's some footage of a necromancy character with minions attacking. Last Epoch has some of the best necromancy available in ARPGs right now, in my opinion. I don't know any more if it's an early access game, or a beta game, or whatever, but it's unfinished and keeps changing. I have a few videos on this game in its various stages. Titan Quest has necromancy, but it's very limited. You need mods to make it shine, and there's a few mods that I know of that work well. Legion of Champions and Shadow Champions Mastery. Torchlight games have extremely boring and generic classes in general, 
and Torchlight 2 is no exception. However, someone modded a necromancer into the game that is inspired by Diablo 2. Here's a snippet from my video. They feel very underpowered in my opinion. I feel like the caster has been given too much power. You're doing all the work and your minions seem to be just along for the ride. They're like a swarm of gnats to buzz and distract the enemy until you decide to properly kill them by throwing your purple skulls again. Walken released with some pretty weak necromancy, at least in comparison to some others on the list, but it got a huge necromancy specific buff recently, and it's pretty enjoyable to play. So there it is. At this point in time, this is every single ARPG that I know of that has necromancy in it, or that can be modded to include it. If you know of any I missed, please comment below. They'll feature the next time I do a big list video like this one. Thanks for watching, I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.